Hi guys, welcome back to MEG123 and today um, it will be a fun Monday. So this was filmed yesterday, um, as you can tell because um, I made a video yesterday of saying sorry about my video as my um, iMovie wouldn't let me upload a video, upload a movie, which was a pain in the ass. So I will have to fix it up. Um, and stuff, so I couldn't do a video yesterday on, on iMovie, but I'll try to do that for next week. So there might be two iMovies up for you guys next week. For today. So, anyway, Fun Monday. So today we'll be doing a uh, Fun Monday, and we're going to be playing with Play Doh. Um, so this will evolve this week and next week. So, as you guys know, last Monday, um, I told you guys that Monday. Um, as I told you, Monday will be two, or can we even one, Info Monday and Play Mo and Fun Monday. So, Fun Mondays will be involved in fun activities or fun, um, so fun videos, um, and stuff like that. So, Monday is really a anything video, so, yeah, so you'll get any type of video. Um, and today, so this week... So this Monday and next Monday, and there's there's an announcement, there's info, in, information that you guys need to know next Monday. Um, then there'll be two parts of the video. Um, so there'll be two videos on play next this week and next week because I'll have to do it this week and next week. So we're gonna be making a car and a play -Doh. But the interesting fact is that it will be like a car. For the rest of the time, because I'm I'll, I'll gonna leave it out and it will become hard and then it won't be able to break anymore. Now, I didn't use all the yellow play doh because I still want some for just playing with and stuff like that. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because when I'm playing with my Weeble Weeble dolls, um, pretendly, the boys I have absolutely love playing with cars and play doh, so I thought this would be good for pretend when I'm pretending to play with them. Now, as you can see, I have a big piece for the body. One piece for one wheel, one for another, one for another, and one for another. As you can see, they're all smaller than the actual body, so then they can all fit. So first of all, you want to get your body so guys, that's just my phone. So first of all, you want to just roll it, your body into a ball before you even get it into the shape of what you want your car body to look like. Um, so you want to roll, roll, roll your ball, roll, roll, roll your ball. Um, so roll, roll, roll your ball. Alright, so once your wall is perfectly or pretty much perfect, you're gonna squish. You're gonna squish it. So you're gonna squish it as to the shape that you want it. Now I'm going to dent mine at the top, but then keep it flat at the bottom. So this is how I'm going to do mine. You guys can, when, when it comes to this body, you guys, if you guys are doing it with me, when it comes to the body, you guys can do however you want it. So this is how mine's going to look. And mine's going to have a little bit of a point at the front. So you can tell what's the front. So as you can see, you can tell what's the front and what's the back. Now, the good thing about smoothing it out, guys, is that when it gets hard, it will look nice. If you have all crinkly and stuff, when it dries out, when your Play-Doh dries out, it won't look nice, okay? So you need to make sure that your Play-Doh is nice and smooth and nice. That's why when you do, like, when you see people building and stuff, like, um, in work would work, we lacquer. So it looks shiny and it's not black, okay? So it's the same with Play-Doh, you just need to make sure it's nice and smooth. 
and things like that. So now we're going to just leave the body for a minute and we're going to go to the wheels and we're just going to wall the wheels up into balls. Obviously the balls will stay, obviously the wheels will stay as balls. Okay, so they're going to stay as balls. So this ball is done. Now I'm going to just roll all my balls up, because all my play the wheels up, because as you'll see in a second. Now these two, when they were flat, they didn't look like they were going to be the same size, but now they kind of are. Right, so I'm going to show you back the wheels now. Right, and one more. And squish it together around in that one. Alright, so now I've got all of them done. And they all look pretty much the same size. So now I'm going to get... Now, all, obviously they're not all going to be exactly the same size. So if they're not, don't worry. You just need to make sure that they have pairs. So two... So as you have four, so these two are exactly the same. And these two are pretty much the same. So then it doesn't matter because then it will kind of look cool because the, then the front might be up a bit and the back might be down so it will look like they're just driving off. So I'm going to have the front. Now this is how you're going to put it on. You're going to make it so it looks like that. But then, you're gonna, but then that part will be like that. So then... Now it's not going to sit obviously yet, and you're going to put the other side. So that's what the front will look like, and then you obviously do the back. Now the pieces are obviously going to be like the 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 body is obviously going to get squished a bit and going to lose shape. Some people will prefer to do make the body hard first and then put the wheels on. But I haven't really done it. Uh, I would say I've made a car before. But yeah, okay. So that is my car guys and I'll be doing a video next week on the finished touch um, and stuff like that and what it looks like when it's dried up. Because obviously I can't really do that in this video because it's not dried up yet. So that's what it looks like when you will be finished if you did it exactly like me or if you didn't. So this was where people can sit and you can even if you want you can make little people, little fidget people uh, with play-doh as well, dry them up and you can play with them. Um, you might not even want to dry them up because you want to be able to move them and change them and stuff like that. Um, and stuff like that but that's up to you. So even though play-doh isn't supposed to be dry it will be still it's if it's dry, you can always you can always make stuff that when play is dry, it kind of turns into clay, and it's actually fun because you can leave it out and you can play with it, and you can make so you can make play doh into imaginary things, and you can even pretend that the play doh car has eyes. And this week, the reason why I'm doing this video is because last week, last Thursday. Cars 3 was released, so I'm making this video, um, kind of like a Cars 3. Alright, so now my car has eyes, so now it's kind of like a bee, bum, 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 bumblebee. 
So, anyway, I can't revise. You can also try and make sure that there's a gap in between the front and back wheels. Anyway, okay, I'll see you guys. Oops. And that won't happen once it dries off, guys. Anyway, I'll see, catch you guys later. See you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys, yeah, see you guys tomorrow uh, for what's Tuesday's videos. Let me just check. For Quiz Tuesday. So, Quiz Tuesday will be announcing the winner for last week's quiz. And I'll be giving you guys a new question to answer. Um, so, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.